we have had plenty of time with the new 306 brake horsepower Honda Civic Type R. Attending its launch in Slovakia, more seat time at various events, as well as completing a one week road test. It's a car we like a lot, and it would appear you guys do too. However, there seems to be a lot of confusion over Type R coming to America, and why the car you have been seeing in our videos is not coming to the USA. The initial confusion seems to stem from when this Civic Type R was revealed in production guise. At the same event, Honda decided to announce that Type R was coming to America. Now on the face of it, that sounds like that this hatchback is going stateside, but here's the thing, it isn't. Now before the trolls and the armchair critics kick off in the comments, let me just say that my source is Honda, not a dealership, I've been on the phone to my contacts from the Honda PR team. With all due respect, your dealer knows about as much as you can Google. What did Honda mean by Type R is coming to America? They mean the sub-brand Type R and that the USA will get future Type R products. The next 10th generation Civic will be a global car and that will be your first Civic Type R. I'm told that the development on that car has already started. The second most asked question is why is this 2016 Civic Type R being sold in Europe and Japan but not anywhere else? According to Honda, this car was designed for Europe from day one. Compliant to European laws, emissions and safety. Even more than those things, it was tailored to European tastes. Hatchbacks are big business in Europe and hot hatchbacks such as this sell faster in the UK than anywhere else on earth so it makes sense to build a car for your core market. What America and the rest of the world wants is sometimes very different to Europe. Honda knows that there is demand for such a car outside of Europe and so the next Civic Type R is for everyone. It will likely use the same 2 litre turbocharged engine. So there you have it. That is the official reason and hopefully this video has cleared up some of the questions you guys have been sending in.